The Scarecrow by C. Durrett Cole. From the nest in the treetop, five rooklets peered out, while the wind, as it blew, rocked their cradle about. They were all dressed in fluff and just learning to caw, and their round eyes grew rounder at all that they saw. Poor Mrs. Rook. Mother got bothered outright with answering questions from morning till night as the children grew older and cawed more than ever. She scolded but thought them remarkably clever. And mother you promised to teach us to fly. So when shall we start? We are longing to try. Have patience, my chickens, and wait a bit longer till your feathers have grown and your wings too are stronger. And then, if you are good, for a picnic we'll go and frolic and feast in the meadows below. But be aware of the farmer who carries a gun and beware of the puss-cat, the yellow-eyed one. We don't mind the farmer, we don't mind his cat, but we dread that old boogie who wears that big hat. For he talks with a rattle. There, I didn't hear you. And his flaps both his hands till we tremble with fear. Caw, caw, laughed Rook Mother. Of course you, did, you don't know. But that's all raggedy tag the scarecrow, and he doesn't trouble about us two straws and cannot hear even the noisiest cause. I once thought him sleeping, Ned Nod bent his head. But your father, wise old fellow, was sure he was dead. So he pecked him and pecked him one day till we saw he was just an old coat that was stuffed out with straw. The five baby rootlets high up in their tree that night felt as happy as could be as they dozed off to sleep they all nodded and said, Oh, isn't it nice that old boogie's quite dead?